I am standing in a $100,000 studio that I built for free. A lot of people ask me how I make all this stuff on the channel. So today I'm gonna to start pulling back the curtain a little on how all of this is done. But I'm gonna take it one step further. If you're interested in learning how to code, design games, or create 3D assets, then I'm gonna give you some practical steps that you can take today to learn how to do those things. So get comfortable, grab some popcorn, and let's learn some cool stuff. Before we get started, I wanna say a huge thank you to Unity for sponsoring this video, but more on that later. You've probably guessed it by now, but this new gaming studio is not real. It's a virtual environment. If it were real, it would have cost around $100,000 to build. From the tech and electronics, to the furniture, to the lighting, and to the construction costs for the walls, floors, and ceiling of this 600 square foot area, my calculations put the exact cost of a replica IRL build to be $105,656.50. But building this all virtually cost me zero dollars. Well, virtually zero dollars. There were a few 3D models that I didn't create from scratch, like the switch, the keyboard, and the mouse. I wanted to save some time, so I bought these assets online for around $200. But 95% of the stuff in the studio I did create myself from scratch for free. So how did I create all of this, and how did I do it for free? Well, in general, there's two different types of digital art, 2D and 3D. 2D would be cell-style animation, 2D games, and anime, just to name a few. 3D would be modern animated movies, visual effects in live action movies, and 3D games, which is exactly what this is. Yes, what you're seeing right now is a 3D game running in real time and then rendered out into video form. So whenever you hop onto one of my gaming live streams, essentially what you're seeing is a 3D game playing another 3D game. Inception. Blah. So now that you know that all of this, me, the studio is essentially a 3D game. Let's talk about how it's all created and how you can create it all too for free. We're gonna break down 3D game into two parts, 3D and game. Discuss each of them separately and then show how they work together. To create things in 3D, the first thing you need to do is download and install some 3D software. Now, there are tons of options out there, but 99% of them cost money, a lot of money. The software that I use, however, and 100% recommend is Blender. Blender is free and it's very, very good. It's been used to create animated projects for Netflix, visual effects for shows on Amazon, and even long form indie projects on YouTube. With Blender, you can do 3D modeling, sculpting, simulation, animation, and so much more all for free. It's incredible. So it's not a hard decision. Blender is hands down the best free 3D software out there. So head over to blender.org and download it for free. Now let's talk about the game side. Once you have your 3D asset, like this popcorn bucket, how do you make it do things? To add logic, physics, controls, and real-time properties to a 3D asset, you need a game engine. Once again, there are many game engines out there to choose from, but the two most prominent game engines are Unity and Unreal. You can get both of them for free, and they're both extremely powerful. I won't compare them today, there's plenty of videos out there for that. But the game engine that I prefer, and the game engine that powers all of this, is Unity. Unity is a fantastic game engine, and they have a lot of cool stuff in the works. Like, they just bought a major VFX studio, which is going to be huge for the future of content creation. I made a video about that, so be sure to check that out later. With Unity, you can create games for mobile, console, PC, web, and VR. You can even do tons of other cool stuff like VTubing and virtual production. So go grab Unity. They have a free version, and I put the link to that in the description below. Once you have your 3D software and your game engine, you're ready to start making some cool stuff like this virtual studio. Let's, let's actually do a real demonstration of how that works right now. It's the Christmas season, so I'm thinking this studio could really use a Christmas tree. Come on, let's put one in. So first, we need our 3D asset. I could make it myself by opening up Blender and creating a Christmas tree. Or, to save some time, I could check and see if anyone's already made a Christmas tree that I could use. There are plenty of asset stores online, but the one I'm going to be using is the Unity Asset Store. Let's check that out. Whoa, okay, they're doing a New Year's sale, 50% off. Guys, hop on this right now. If you've ever thought about getting into game design or 3D work, now is the time. 50% off is crazy, and the Unity Asset Store has tons of cool stuff. You could even just grab some free assets while you're figuring out if game design is something you're interested in. Let's check if they have that Christmas tree we need. Yep, definitely. Man, there's a bunch. 
They've got free stuff, paid stuff, different styles. Guys, check out the Asset Store, 50% off until January 11th. You can also use code PIXELFIRENY22 for an extra 10% off. And if you use my affiliate link below, your purchases help support my channel at no extra cost to you. All the details in the description below. Okay, I really like this one. So now that we have our 3D asset, we can open up our game engine, in my case, Unity. They have a really cool system called the Package Manager that lets you directly import assets that you've gotten from the Unity Asset Store. Click Import, and there's our Christmas tree. We can move it around anywhere we want, and there we go, done. What I just showed you are the absolute basics of how to make a 3D game. There's tons of advanced stuff you can get into with 3D modeling, animation, coding, logic, and controls. So now let's get into how you can actually learn how to do the more advanced stuff and go on to create your own projects like full-blown games or animated short films. To learn how to make stuff in 3D, I recommend first following a tutorial series on YouTube. Check out Blender Guru and Gleb Alexandrov. Both channels do a great job at teaching people how to use Blender and create stuff in 3D. Gleb's stuff is a little more advanced, so if you're just starting out, it might be better to stick with the Blender Guru channel and work through some of those tutorials to get started. Once you've worked through a few tutorials and made a few 3D assets, you should then try making something on your own without following a tutorial. It could be anything. You could make a castle, an axe, a cup. Choose something simple and just make it. Practicing creating things on your own will ensure that what you're learning from the tutorials will stick with you. Next, just repeat the above steps, but increase the difficulty and complexity more and more each time. So follow through a more advanced tutorial and then try making a more complex 3D asset all by yourself. What I recommend for learning game design is similar. Start off by watching through a few game design tutorials. Learn.unity.com actually has some great beginner tutorials that will walk you through building your own game. Like the simple rollerball game, you'll learn how to code, how to set up player controls, and even how to release your game to the public. There's also some great YouTube channels out there, like Brackies and CodeMonkey, that are both great at teaching you how to make games with Unity. Once you've learned how to make a few simple games, make your own. Do not go big. Start small, like super small, like rollerball small. Simple controls that let you control one object to collect one thing or do one thing. Simple. Come up with a really simple idea for a game, make it yourself, and finish it. You'll feel super accomplished and it will teach you a lot. Once again, repeat the steps above, but increase the complexity each time. Follow more advanced tutorials and then make more complex games on your own. As you start creating things yourself, whether it's 3D design or game design or both, you are going to come across problems. To get the answers you need, talk to others and get help. Some great free resources for this are Google, subreddits, Facebook pages, and online forums like blenderartist.org and Unity Answers. Just search for the problem you have, ask questions, and you'll most likely find an answer to your problem. If you want a more premium solution, there's an excellent website called Ask-A-Pro that connects you one-on-one -on -one with professionals in the creative industry. Just ask your question, assign the relevant tags, and your question will get matched with an experienced professional who you can chat with one-on-one -on -one to get your question answered and your problem solved. Ask-A-Pro does cost $15 a month, but since you're getting direct help from someone who's actively working in the creative industry, I think it's a highly valuable resource that you should really look into. It could really boost your creative growth. So if you've ever wanted to get into 3D modeling, animation, or game design, now is the time to do it. Blender just came out with their mind-blowing 3.0 update, and it's free. The Unity game engine is free, and they have an amazing asset store that's 50% off right now. I laid out tons of resources that you can use to start learning, some free and some paid. New Year's is coming up, so maybe even set a resolution to start learning 3D or game design. No matter what, you can do it. I believe in you and I can't wait to see what you create. So that's how I built a $100,000 studio for free. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and turning on the notification bell. My name is Pixelfire, and I will see you next time.